So the information provided for this question says that Jennifer bought a box of crunchy grain cereal. The nutrition facts on the box state that a serving of the cereal is three-fourths cup and provides 210 calories, 50 of which are calories from fat. In addition, each serving of the cereal provides 180 milligrams of potassium, which is 5% of the daily allowance for adults. So question 20 says, which of the following could be the graph of the number of calories from fat in crunchy grain cereal as a function of the number of three quarter cup servings of the cereal? So let's remember that every three quarter cup serving contains 50 calories of fat. So let's see. Um, that would mean, first of all, that zero cups should have zero fat, right? So choice B for that reason is gone um, because as we can see at zero cups, we're up here at some unknown value. But also that tells me that choice C is also gone for the same exact reason. And choice D is also gone for the same exact reason leaving only choice A to be a viable answer. We also would know if we had not tried it that way that the, you know, the fact that choice D is flat, meaning that we're not getting additional fat, although we're eating more, would not make any sense. Choice C is also incorrect for another reason other than the zero point or the y-intercept not being at zero as we expect it to be. This graph shows that as we eat more cereal, the fat calorie consumed, fat calories consumed goes down, which also does not make any sense. So A and B are the only ones that make sense from a directional standpoint. The more we eat, the more fat calories we consume as well. And it really comes down to that y-intercept. Again, if I haven't eaten anything, I shouldn't have any fat calories consumed. Um, represented in my graph. So choice A is the best answer here.